Hello and welcome to the Excel in Business series. My name is Ken. In today's uh, topic, we'll be talking about integrating SQL and Excel VBA. Now, this is the way it works. We've got an Excel application as our front end, while we've got SQL Server as our back end. Now, we're going to write a VBA code that queries the SQL database with an SQL syntax the VBA fetches the result from the database and displays it in the Excel application. Right, so let's start. First, we'll be using uh, Excel 2007 and SQL uh, 2012. I've got a finished product here. Uh, let me just show you the way it works. Let's say you go for January, it updates. So I'm going to build this again and showing you how to actually code the uh, code the syntax in VBA. Right, let's start with this. We've got uh, dummy data for complaints. That's complaint tracker in here. We've got the complaint ID, date initiated, complaint categories. That's either bad, dead, bad service, or others. We've got the complaint as NI if the issue has been resolved and the date resolved. Okay, so now we go to our new shit we're going to be working with. Uh, I've kind of uh, pre-prepared pre the shit so that we're going to save time. Try to um, finish this within 10 minutes. I've got some dates here and the SQL syntax associated with these dates. And over here we've got, um, sorry, let me do this again. We've got a lookup that fetches the date uh, equal v lookup this fetches the date and the associated SQL syntax oops uh, what did I do wrong oops sorry A12 to 0. Do, 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 oh, no. B6 rather to 0. Right. Okay. Like I said, I'm going to be editing this, so you might notice a skip. So bear with me. Now we've got this. Um, first thing we do is to open up our VBA window Alt F11. Now we're here, we create a module, insert module. We've got the op uh, module open with the um, sub con connect fetch. Let's say connect fetch and sub. Right, after we've done this, we go over to our tool section, go to the reference section, look for. Um, Microsoft, um, let's see, Microsoft. Da, 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 da. ActiveX, Microsoft. Microsoft ActiveX. Mm. Okay, right, take the latest one. Okay, now we've done that. Why we did that, it's because we need to be able to uh, connect to an uh, external database that can also use VBA. Now, the next step is to write our, um, that, that's to declare a variable, variable sorry. Um, the first one we'll do is with Dean. Uh, let's call this link. I'm going to try making this as explicit as possible. Dim Excel to server, right, as new A D O D B. This was a shop, so let's go back to tools again. Reference. 
Mm. Wait till I pick that. Oh, I didn't select it, sorry. Okay. Okay, as new A D O D B. Let's do this again. As new Yep, okay. A D that's it. O D B dot connection. Okay. Right. So what we so we've got the link to server as uh, ADODB connection. Then we're going to uh, dimension log access. As a string. Oops, sorry. As not a string. Then we dimension the uh, syntax SQL syntax as string also. Then we dimension the. Um, I'll, I'll explain all this later as a d o d b dot um dot reconnect re call so record set yep okay yep so basically we've got here uh the connection then we've got a login access to that connection. Then you've got the syntax, SQL syntax that will run in that con uh, connection. Then you've got uh, what I call a basket that, you know, the syntax is fetched in. That's the, um, the record set is fetched in. That's what I've called it, a basket here. So the first step after this, uh, it's not necessarily the first, but let, let's try to make it work in a logical order. Let's um, declare the log access, log access, oops, log access is equal to, now we need the login details and stuff like that. How are we going to get that? I've got a copy somewhere, but I can show you how to go about it. Uh, an easy way to go about it, I'm going to open another Excel. Not too easy, but it's a fairly easier way of going about it. Mm -mm. Right, so I could say developer, record macro. I find it's very useful because you get loads of syntax when you record macro. Okay. Um, then over here in data, I go to get external data from other source from SQL Server. Server name is um, I think it's root. Oops, that's the, I hope this works. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'm not sure about this, so let me just go back to let me go to the SQL Server to find out the connection that information I'll, I'll pretend I'm about to create uh, to import a new table so tasks import next You go uh, right. So there's a server name root. That's PC. That's my server name rather. So I can exit this. Cancel. Go back to. Do 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 do. Right. This one. Okay. Next. Mm 
Uh, drilling, look for 